Please join me in welcoming a great American senator, Ted Cruz. The 2014 Conservative Policy Summit, hosted by Heritage Action for America, brought together nine members of the House and Senate to discuss some of America's most pressing issues. Privacy concerns, transforming the welfare state, and energy policy were just a number of the issues on today's agenda. Members of the House and Senate, including former Senator and now Heritage President Jim DeMint, were eager to share their conservative vision for the future. It's not sufficient for conservatives to run against agendas. They must advance ideas and legislation that will build a stronger America. A mandate to lead without a plan, without a proposal, without original legislation is no mandate at all. A republic demands transparency for the government and privacy for its citizens. Today, we reverse that with government demanding transparency from us, but insisting, insisting on secrecy for itself. It's sad to see one of the two major parties now, what I would argue, step over the line and embrace this idea that somehow it's good when people work less. We come from an entirely different focus, and this bill that we have is an entirely opposite direction. We think work's a good thing. There have been five environmental reviews, each of which has concluded the Keystone Pipeline does not raise significant environmental concerns, and yet it has not gone forward because this administration continues to block it. Tens of thousands of high-paying jobs, literally with the stroke of a pen, the private sector could be allowed to create. But this administration is not stroking that pen. Washington, D.C. is a town where good ideas go to die. Mike Needham of Heritage Action says it's important to address these issues now before the midterm elections at the end of the year. Great ideas take a while to incubate, and it's not enough just to have an election and then right after the election say, now's the time we're going to do something bold. It took 12 years for the Kemp Roth tax cuts to go forward. It took 20 years for welfare reform or missile defense to take on. And so we want to highlight these ideas now when people can use them in their campaigns, Americans can use them uh, to talk to their members of Congress and really build that momentum. Many who attended today's summit were excited to hear about conservative policy reform. I am a big fan of Ted Cruz. I believe that he does exactly what he says he's going to do. I've been a big fan of his for about three years now. Um, I believe that he has made a huge impact in Washington on the health care bill, just hammering away at that. I believe he really speaks for the people and the heart of what the people are trying to say. I'm here to basically learn about some uh, conservative principles and how we can and take some of these ideals and implement them into what we hope to work out in Philadelphia. We are conservatives first and foremost. Conservative lawmakers who attended today's summit said that America simply cannot prosper under a managed decline and other European-style policies. Instead, they claim that their conservative reform agenda is enough to set America back on the path toward economic reform and to set us on a path toward achieving the American dream. Reporting at the Conservative Policy Summit, I'm Jackie Anderson for The Foundry.